A happy head coach because it was a dominating performance, a 28-point win. What impressed you most about your team today? Well, our ball movement. Uh, we had a ton of assists and, and not a lot of turnovers. And uh, we just competed hard on, on the defensive end. I thought we did a good job of rebounding in the second half. Uh, we gave up a lot of offensive rebounds in the first half. But, you know, just all together, just an, a really good offensive execution, uh, finding each other, making the extra pass. You and Michigan State have played three times this year. You're two of the top three teams in the conference, and yet they have all been blowout wins by 20-plus points or more. What is it about the matchup between your two teams that have resulted in that? I can't explain it. I think it's just sometimes it is about matchups. And, um, you know, they're a big team, and we're not a big team. And so we tried to collapse on the post today. Um, and they have to guard our, our kids away from the basket. So um, that's the way the game went, and our kids did a good job of finding each other. You were hoping that Allie Havers could provide a punch for you here in the postseason. How much did you see this oh, kind of performance build? It, it, that was awesome. We need that so much. Um, you know, what she did with, you know, Jordan sitting on the bench, and, you know, you're looking up at the clock and thinking, well, shoot, I put Jordan back in with two, and then, you know, we, we keep expanding our lead, and so it was a great opportunity to keep Jordan on the bench. Now you're off to the title game. Thank you for the time. All right, thanks a lot. Katie? Thank you, Lisa. I'm here with Rachel Terrio. Another great game from you. Combined yesterday and today, 32 points, 26 assists. You literally did it all. But walk me through the last two days and just what was working for you. I'm just, I mean, we're just playing as a team and playing the way that we know how to play and just, I don't know. It's just all reading your teammates and going with the flow. So. You did such a good job controlling the game, managing everything, and then when you get that open look, you take that <laughs> shot, and today from beyond the arc, we're draining some of those three. How good does that feel? Uh, it's obviously it builds my confidence, you know, helps my team too, and I can hit shots like that. I mean, they're, they're all confident in me, so I mean, just knocking it down. Is there one area in your game that you've really worked hard and improved upon this season? Um, from last year, I would say more of just knowing when to shoot the ball, like to actually shoot it. I mean, I'm more of a passer, but, you know, this year I kind of developed my shot a little more and, you know, build off of that. Yeah, we saw the shot develop in this game, especially before the game today. Your head coach compared you to Peyton Manning in the oh, way that God. you're able to distribute the ball, which I thought was great. One other person that we've got to talk about, freshman Allie Havers, not only got some minutes, but made use of them today. How much fun was it to see her play the way she did today? I mean, just... Every, any, anybody could do that. I mean, just hard work pays off. I mean, it's amazing to see someone who just that young to, you know, do that great out there. So it's just fun. Third time Nebraska is here in the Big Ten Women's Basketball Tournament. Second time you are headed to the final game tomorrow. What do you guys need to do against a tough Iowa Hawkeye team? Just, you know, play our game, focus, rebound, you know, take care of the ball, just the little things, you know, that'll fall into place. Work on the little things. Rachel, <laughs> congratulations. Great game today. Appreciate the time. Thank you. Eric, Stephanie, we'll send it back over to you guys.